the computer and you take all the cola you just peel on it down like this. The cola will come down. Then you take it to the bathroom or the toilet and you put it under the water like this. Then in case not to have sticky keyboard when you press and key stays down you put some shampoo or something to clean it with and then you do like this you very gently just like this you see I'm not pushing very much just to clean it a little bit just like that you put it here and here and here and you can see the shampoo is doing its job and it will be as clean as you first bought it you can clean the cable and then all the water will come down on your sleeves and you will get wet and then you put it under the sink or in the sink and if there is something to help you this could be a good idea you just do like you just do like this and there is your keyboard in the shower who could ever thought you could shower your keyboard nobody yes when you're ready you stop the water from coming so you don't get big water bill and you put it Oops, wait, there is a little bit of water left in there. You take all the water out. And what could be the best place to put your keyboard to dry? Of course, the finish sauna. Yes. You move all the things away from your way and put it next to the other things that are already in the sauna. Now that, now that you have your keyboard in the sauna, you take a chair, come sit here and you wait for three days for the keyboard to dry. When you are ready, you take the keyboard and it's ready to work. Thank you very much.